Dogs are called man's best friend. For a good reason. They can be easily trained, they can help perform tasks around the home or on work sites. And they can make for the perfect companion. With such a wide variety of breeds to choose from, there's almost certain to be one that's ideal for you. But if you're looking for strength and power over everything else, then you're going to need one of these 15 abnormally strong dogs in the world. <sighs> Number 15. Hulk the Pitbull Pitbulls usually grow to be fairly large dogs, but there's one that's the daddy of them all, appropriately named Hulk. Belonging to a family in New Hampshire, he's being trained to be a protection dog and is almost used for breeding in order to pass on his impressive genetic traits. Weighing in at 174 pounds, he's surprisingly calm and friendly, thanks to the way he's been trained. But his owners are almost certain that, if anyone broke into their home or tried to cause them any harm, Hulk would quickly turn and be the first on the scene to make sure that they were safe. While we might all dream of having a Hulk of our own, obtaining a dog like this doesn't come cheap. A recent litter from his bloodline were trained from birth to be just as obedient and friendly, and each one was sold with a asking price of $55,000. One of his sons, Kobe, was particularly large when he was born, and it's thought that in a few years, he may even be able to challenge for his father's crown as the biggest pit bull in the world. With selective breeding becoming easier than ever, who knows how huge the dogs may become in the future. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed when you're sleeping. Number 14. Dogo Argentino the white-colored dog Dogo Argentino is a breed that was first developed in Argentina, where their original purpose was to help with hunting big game, such as wild boar. The first was born in 1928, and was a combination of several breeds, including the Cordoba Fighting Dog and the Great Dane, and is so powerful that it's able to take on a mountain lion. They grow to around 27 inches tall, and with a weight of 100 pounds, and look quite similar to American Bulldogs, but with short white coats. They're incredibly muscly, and beyond being hunting dogs, they are also trained to assist with search and rescue operations, service dogs, and to aid with the police and military. There are, however, some risks that they may develop an undesirable temperament if they aren't trained correctly, and they will behave very differently towards people they recognize in comparison to those that they don't. As a result of this, and despite the American Kennel Club recognizing them as a breed, it's illegal to own them in a number of countries including the UK, Australia, Denmark, and Turkey. Number 13. American Pit Bull Terrier one of the most recognizable dogs in the U.S. is the American Pit Bull Terrier. While its ancestors came from the U.K., it's now very much a breed in its own right, and can be identified by their short coats, defined muscly bodies, and their almond-shaped eyes. Growing to around 21 inches tall, with a weight of up to 60 pounds, many believe that this is the only true pit bull species, and they are extremely strong and confident for their size. They aren't for everyone, though, because they require owners who are experienced with training breeds like these to ensure they're well socialized by the time they develop their power. If this is done correctly, they develop a fond affinity towards people, so aren't exactly the most effective of guard dogs, but will put their own lives on the line to defend their family. If they aren't trained properly, however, they can be highly aggressive towards other dogs and, potentially, towards humans. And it's because of this risk that ownership is either restricted or banned in several U.S. states and at least 20 other countries around the world. Number 12. Irish Wolfhound 
Irish wolfhounds, which originated in Ireland, have long been bred for game hunting and to protect livestock thanks to their wonderful temperaments and enormous size and power. The breed was actually first popularized for militaristic purposes, where they'd be very effective at dragging people to the ground from their horses or chariots. They're one of the tallest breeds of dog. The Irish wolfhound, in my opinion, is a great pet in the right hands, the right ownership. Reaching at least three feet to the shoulder, and have a great deal of bulk too, weighing up to 155 pounds. They are a highly intelligent breed, but are usually cautious and reserved. And while they won't protect a home or your belongings, they consider their owners to be part of their pack, and will fight restlessly to protect them. There's an old motto that's used to describe them. Gentle when stroked, fierce when provoked. Said to be relatively easy to train, and loyal to a fault, they were historically popular because of their ability to fight off packs of wolves, and are easily strong enough to take on more than one at once. They are, however, naturally friendly towards people, so probably won't be the first to raise the alarm if there's an intruder. Number 11. Siberian Husky Siberian Huskies are one of the most recognizable and popular breeds in the world, although they aren't particularly suited to most home settings and require a huge amount of walking each day to stay healthy. They have very thick fur on their double coats, having descended from dogs that lived in the harsh conditions of the Siberian Arctic. And this is why they're the breed you'll often see in the snowy environments today. Growing to up to two feet tall at the shoulder and with a weight of up to 60 pounds, they work very well together in packs, and are often used as work dogs thanks to their ability to keep on going in the cold for hours upon hours on end. <laughs> Huskies are very intelligent, and are known as escape dogs because of their innate ability to find a way out of where they are being kept. They can dig under, chew through, or jump over fences that are over 8 feet tall, and become especially mischievous if they're feeling bored or lonely. They are, therefore, said to be one of the most rewarding breeds of dog you could ever have, if you have enough time to take care of them. But if you don't, they'll soon become a handful. Number 10. Rottweiler Rottweilers were one of the first breeds of dog used for herding, with records suggesting that they were used for this purpose in the Roman Empire. Named after Rottweil, a town in Germany, their obedience and strength meant that they were ideal for herding livestock and also for pulling carts to market. With the introduction of railroads, the need for their pulling ability waned, but they're still used by farmers around the world, and are now also trained to help for search and rescue and police purposes. They typically grow to around 27 inches tall at the shoulder, with a weight of up to 130 pounds, and are described as being a calm, friendly, and good-natured breed. They do, however, need someone to step into the role of pack leader, otherwise they'll do this themselves. So unless you're confident in dominating your authority over them, this probably isn't the best breed for you. If, on the other hand, you're willing to put the effort in, then the results will be rewarding, and you'll have a loyal companion for life that'll be just as keen to get stuck into the hard work as you are. Number 9. Caucasian of Charka Caucasian Shepherd Dogs originate from the Caucasus Mountains in Georgia and Russia, and, as you'd expect for something that was bred to assist in such difficult terrain, they are massive. Growing to almost 3 feet tall and weighing up to 220 pounds, they are extremely muscular, even though it might not look like it with such a shaggy coat of fur. <laughs> Their resilient and loyal nature means that they have long been the go-to breed for shepherds working in the mountains, where they were used to help protect livestock, and could effectively fend off wolves and jackals. Amazingly, they're also able to hold their own against bears, and have been used in the past to help hunt them. And while this doesn't happen so often today, they're still a popular breed to be used for security purposes, and as prison guard dogs across Russia. They are highly territorial dogs, that are cautious around people that they don't know, but at the same time, they're independent, confident, and show very little fear even when the odds are stacked against them. Number 8. Rhodesian Ridgeback 
Bred from the hunting dogs of nomadic tribes from the regions across southern Africa, Rhodesian Ridgebacks were first acknowledged as a breed in 1922 and have since become a valued working dog in the region. They have a distinctive ridge of hair that runs along their backs in a contrary direction to the rest of their fur, and are usually a light wheat in color. When fully grown, they can be up to 27 inches tall and weigh 80 pounds, and have a noticeably muscular physique. They are extremely loyal to their owners, exhibit a high intellect, and will generally be indifferent to strangers unless they're posing a threat to people that they are familiar with. This means they can be brilliant guard dogs and have remarkable stamina, so will rarely ever tire. They are, therefore, used to help transport supplies between locations, a clear similarity they have with their ancestors that were an integral part of the nomadic tribes they lived with, as well as being strong and powerful. Rhodesian Ridgebacks have a friendly and curious temperament, and are seen as being one of the easiest working breeds to train. Number 7. Saint Bernard St. Bernards are notorious for being a large breed of working dog that have been used for centuries to assist communities in the mountainous regions of Italy and Switzerland, and were specifically bred by a hospice on the border between the two countries to aid with rescue missions. Named after an Italian monk, Bernard of Menthon, the first records of St. Bernards being used for this purpose date back to the 17th century, and have become synonymous with carrying a barrel around their necks which contains brandy to help warm up people who have been stuck in the snow. This representation, however, is untrue, and the center claims that none have ever worn these barrels on a legitimate rescue. But their suitability for helping in such difficult freezing environments is not a question. Growing to almost 3 feet tall and weighing up to 180 pounds, they are very different now to the first ones that were bred because of the inclusion of new bloodlines, and, if anything, are now much better suited for their role as workers. They are more than strong enough to pull a person from within a snowdrift, and despite the availability of modern technology, are still used by mountain rescue teams in hard-to-reach places. Number 6. Kangle with its origins as a livestock guarding breed of dog from Turkey, the Kangal Shepherd Dog is actually an early version of the Mastiff and is perfectly suited to working across harsh climates and difficult terrain. They can weigh as much as 140 pounds and grow to almost 3 feet tall, but their most distinguishing features are their sandy, colored fur, with black fur on their faces that almost look like they're wearing a mask. <coughs> Although often referred to as a sheepdog, they aren't used to help herd the livestock. Instead, their role is purely for protection against big cats like lions and cheetahs. They are now more commonly seen in Namibia to take on this role, and since their introduction in 1994, livestock losses have been significantly reduced while, at the same time, cheetah numbers have increased because they aren't being culled by the farmers. In fact, it's not just the livestock they protect. Because they're so strong, they're responsible for their owner's safety too, against local predators. They've also become very popular as home protectors thanks to their friendly with people, and especially children, where they regard their owners as part of their own flock and do everything they can to keep them safe. Number 5. Tibetan Mastiff Tibetan Mastiffs have their origins within the mountains of nomadic tribes of Tibet, China, India, and Nepal, where they were vital for the protection of tents, villages, temples, and livestock. Historically, they would have been tied up to a post outside a home, and their loud barking in the face of an intruder would have alerted or woken everyone around. Growing to up to 33 inches tall and weighing up to 200 pounds, they are considered by many to be a fairly primitive breed and retain many of the traits of their ancestors, which means they are tough in the face of the cold mountain conditions. They have a double coat, which is usually black or tan in color, and it's surprisingly good at shedding dirt and muck, which means this breed doesn't take on the odor that you typically get with other large dog breeds. As pets, they can be more challenging, mainly because they've been bred to keep watch at night. They remain mainly nocturnal and will bark through to the early hours. And if you, or another dog, aren't around to keep them company, they'll become restless. Number 4. 
Boxer Originally bred as guard dogs in Germany, boxers have a square-shaped muzzle, extremely strong jaws, and an underbite which combine to mean they're very good at biting onto large prey and not letting go. They grow to around 2 feet tall, with a weight of up to 80 pounds, and were created by breeding traits from the Old English Bulldog and the now extinct Bull and Bizer. Boxers come from a product of their training arguably more so than any other breed. So if they're brought up to be tough guard dogs, they'll fulfill that role admirably. But they can just as easily become warm and friendly family pets that are playful with kids and pose no problems at all. Despite their reputation, they are instinctually non-aggressive and are natural guardians to those that they consider to be part of their pack. Boxers are the breed for everyone, but if you like a big dog who likes to cuddle, and as well as being guard dogs, they're also used as service dogs, therapy dogs, and as police dogs. They are so versatile that various militaries around the world have been known to train them too, where they can perform roles such as message carriers and attack dogs in a way that other breeds can't. Number 3. Newfoundland Newfoundland dogs are very large dogs that originate from Newfoundland in Canada. They can grow to 28 inches tall with a weight of 176 pounds. He's so big! <laughs> he looked like a bear! And were originally bred to assist fishermen where their incredible strength not only proves useful in helping move loads and cargo, but their bravery and webbed feet mean they are excellent swimmers and are ideally suited to water rescue. They have large heads, flat snouts, thick necks, and a rigid skeletal structure that makes them a lot stronger than similarly sized dogs, and one of the most powerful breeds that there is. Often called gentle giants, there's not an aggressive bone in their body. They are extremely docile, calm, and level-headed, and are very easy to train. They aren't therefore suited to being guard dogs, but as lovable family pets that'll always jump in the water with you. There's no better breed. Newfoundland dogs have been credited for saving the life of Napoleon in 1815, after he was knocked overboard in stormy seas. But possibly the most famous of this breed ever was Nana, the companion of the children in Peter Pan. Number 2. Great Dane Great Danes are simply huge dogs, and Zeus, the biggest dog ever on record, was of this breed. Growing to a height in excess of three and a half feet, they can weigh up to 200 pounds, and were used in Europe as far ago as the 16th century for hunts. The reason why they were so popular for this was because of their particularly powerful legs, which meant they could keep running ahead of the horses for hours on end, and could easily take down bears, boar, and deer. They are also loyal to a fault, and so would be responsible for guarding nobility in their bedrooms at night, with the favorite ones being given grander meals than most people of the time, and were adorned with ornate collars. Despite being gigantic and being one of the strongest breeds, Great Danes are incredibly friendly and calm. Oh, my dad's home! My dad's home, my dad's home, my dad's home. All they want is love and affection from their owners. They'll play well with other pets, and while they're cautious around new people, they'll soon adjust to being in their presence. Number 1. German Shepherd you might think from their almost primitive wolf-like appearance that German Shepherds are one of the oldest breeds of dog that are still around today, but the truth couldn't be further from it. In fact, they were only recognized as a breed in 1899, but since then, they've become one of the most important work dogs of all. Growing to just over 2 feet tall and weighing up to 90 pounds, they can perform virtually any task you associate with canines. <coughs> They are great at herding livestock, as search and rescue dogs, working with the police and army, and for assisting disabled people. One of the reasons they take so well to these roles is because of their intelligence, something that was purposefully bred into them, and means they're quick learners, and will make sensible decisions when needs be. They love to have a purpose, and get bored if they don't have something to do. But with the right training, they will fit in with any family. Of course, you won't want to get on the bad side of one because with a bite force of more than a thousand newtons, they can cause some serious damage if they want to. Have you ever owned one of these breeds? And which do you think is the strongest? Make sure to let us know in the comments section. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!